Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, here is my lovely DMR sled, fresh from the Mega Avalanche. <laughs> So we literally arrived back home a couple of days ago. Biggest problem that you might see out there is there's countless, and I mean countless amounts of rear wheel injury. De la méga, bien sûr, de la casse mécanique sur la méga. Partie du jeu, comme nous rappelons. Loads of punches, loads of spokes breaking. One thing I actually did for this trip. So this is the Tannis armor. So what is it? It's basically an armour where conventionally a lot of people run tubeless these days. The biggest problem is out there, there's a shed load of rock, which means there's a good chance of splitting the tyre end of your day. So what we actually did, we put the inner tube in, we put this around the outside and it just enables you to run slightly lower pressures, but most importantly, it also just allows the rear wheel to stay up without burping the tyre or slicing the tyre and therefore we are still getting to the finish line and that is the most important thing. We're not looking for the grip that we get on downhill runs, we're hopefully getting the bike down to the bottom. We survive! Okay, so there we go. We have got a conventional inner tube in there. Nothing special, it's not downhill casing or anything like that. So how these tubes work is you run a slightly smaller inner tube than what you normally would. I'll just get the rest of the tyre off so you can see. So you can see, fresh from the Mega, it's particularly worn, but it's stayed in pretty good nick. Good old Onzas. Take the tyre off. There's obviously the halo wheel. Pretty impressed with that, not one problem. You can see inside, what I've just shown you as well. This is the actual armour itself. It offers all round protection, we cover ourselves from pinch flats because it's got sidewall protection. It offers you a bit of cushioning as well. So the beauty of this cushioning is it allows you a bit more damping as you're going down the stud. Tubeless is great, you can't fault it. But in terms of the mega avalanche where you've got plenty of rocks that are gonna slice the tire, you know, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try this, see how it works. And I can honestly say, it was bang on for my trip. We're gonna talk about what this armor does. Punch of protection. Well, I personally think proof's in the pudding. I had this for Mega Avalanche qualifier. The main race itself and countless amounts of practice days to include the Dior's Enduro, not one problem. The only problem we suffered was one broken spoke in the front wheel. So big tick on that. Increased grip. Now I'm not saying that tubeless doesn't give you any grip, but in the environment I've just been riding in, it allowed me to run lower pressures. And I think if you're running tubeless, it just meant that you had to run slightly higher pressures. So I could run normal pressures didn't have a problem at all. Easy installation. So as you saw, you put this on the inside of the tire first, and then it's just literally like a conventional inner tube. So we've taken the tire off. We've now presented with the normal wheel and the tire we're gonna put on. We've half put the tire on. We've now put the armor on. As you can see, it's halfway around. You install the armor very much as though you were just putting your tire on normally. Just make sure you can see that you tuck it well and truly in and then just make sure you sit it all the way around. Pump her up, man, pump her up. Not a problem at all. Run flat. If you do get a flat tire, you can still ride for a limited period up to 10K an hour. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I would obviously push over 10K an hour, get through the finish line. At the end of the day, when you're there in the qualifier, you want to make the top 35 to make the main race. So it's just a prevention if you did get a puncher in that environment, just to get through to the finish line to hopefully make the main race. Anyway, that was the Tannis Armour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, the whole purpose of this, without being too pluggy, is just to let you guys know what I did for the Mega. I used this in the rear wheel. If you've liked this video, it'd be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. Below, there is a link to where you can buy this stuff and using my unique code, you guys can get 10% off. Keep me posted and I'll see you in a bit. Oi, oi.